Hello guys, this is Paul McMillan II, and welcome to another live New York session. It was August 29, 2024. And uh, before we get started, let's check the news here. Uh, as you can see, we have some major news that ain't playing. Uh, so that's passed. We've got some new reported uh, some big news for today. So with that being the case, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be trading bold this time. And we're going to be at the name of GSA strategy. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're looking at the overall trend. And uh, what it looks like here is from this swing low, pretty much until this swing high, price has been trending up through these highs have been broken. And it looks like price is pushing up here to the back. Let me go ahead and draw a trend line. Then I want to turn on the CC trend indicator. As you can see, the end of uh, the trend lines on the CC and CC and uh, CC trend indicator is pushing upward. So price is uh, a little bit of uh, pretty much overall bullish at this point. Um, so the lessons know that we are correct to fight you know, what the overall market is, overall uh, trend in the market is. So you want to go ahead and save that. So now we're going with our one hour. We're going to go to a smaller time frame, maybe the 15 minute. So if, when you look at the 15 minute, we want to look at the current trend. You see currently that price took a huge bit of initial place to stop the news, uh, news of course. Um, and, and it started from this swing low to this swing high, and there was a break of structure here. So you could say that price uh, is currently uh, bearish at this point. We want to draw a trend line here. So, I'm going to turn on the CC trend indicator. Now, it looks like that, well, the gray lines are still pointing upward, but that price was still pushing into the upward trend before the down trend here. Um, so, price might still be kind of going upward, but currently the price took a big break. So, I'm still saying that. One of the best trading lines at this point, unless something changes. Um, so we're going to draw our trading ranges with the swing low, with the swing high, and this is the break of structure. So we got a best trading range. Swing low. This is our swing low. Now that we're on the we'll swing low. Put the mountain to the most recent high to the most recent low. And you see that price has yet to come up to this pullback or continuing back. Okay, this is going to be our sell button. So, um, let's turn on the cheat code indicator. And we were pretty much close to it, but the uh, top ball of the band is up here. The bottom ball of the band is down here, but the really sticking out that we got to buy. Uh, so I'm going to kind of actually grab the pullback all the way into the floor of the band. I said it's not good, but I just pull back to it. So now we have an idea of how far past the pullback. 
before going down again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the 915 camera to close. So we have a little bit over nine minutes before that happens. Then we'll start planning that, planning out our trades. So that way when the 930 camera picks, we'll adjust price section until we get a good snap entry. So I would be right back. All right, so we have less than 20 seconds before the 915 camera closes. Uh, it looks like I'm going to take a, a short position. It looks like this is probably the main pull back here. Uh, then I'm going to try to carry it down. Go back to the TP down here. Let's we'll see how many points that would be. By the way, we're taking the points. That'll be set up on trades. We're going to wait to 929 and we'll get to it. watch price action. We'll figure out when it's going to be the best uh, entry. And then between now and 829, I could either fly all the way up and stick out of here and just signal a strong sell down, or it could stay. At this point in the month that you hit, we can do a buy, count and buy all the way up to here, and then sell down. And we just have to see what price action does between now and May 29 if they're not here. So we have about 11 minutes or so. And then I'm out of Zoom just reporting and I need to get to that. So I will be like that. Uh, so it's 829. <laughs> and I'm just going to focus on price action to figure out when to get into it. We have less than a minute now. Let's see what happens.
We'll go ahead and take a bow, see what happens. So what I'm going to do is document my results, then I'm going to share them with you, then we'll wrap this session up. All right, so I'm documenting my results and I'm about to share them with you. I'll give you a couple of minutes to uh, share my thoughts then with you. Yeah, you can see first part first part of the trade $132 profit, second was six dollars. So let's see. We're go to two plus six. So we have $138, $139. Uh, that we made total. And, uh, that was good. So we consistently made that with that thirty more and that for about three weeks at twenty seven hundred dollars to do that. But that's not bad. So okay, that's it for this session. Um I brought up a good like the screen back in this area here. They probably might have got this area to put itself down. But it could, the market is still coming to spin, so it could buy up and we'll have to hear them come back. So, another night. But that's it for this uh, New York session, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.